Good morning. If you watch regularly, obviously you see the background's a little different. I'm not at my house. I'm at a conference in Iowa, and I didn't get to record this before I left. So I'm doing it in my hotel room in Iowa. So here we go. The topic today is fences, laws, and castle walls. I have a puppy at home. She's a chocolate lab. She's so cute. Her name is Reese. And when we leave for the day, we put her and our other dog, Jesse outside in our backyard. Now, my backyard is surrounded by a fence, and therefore, Reese cannot escape while we're gone, okay? That fence surrounds the whole thing. Now, a while back, I found a spot in our backyard where Reese had been trying to dig a hole under the fence so that she could get out. What Reese doesn't realize is that the fence is not there to make her life boring and miserable. It is there to protect her. If she escaped that fence, Reese could be hit by a car on the road in front of our house, or she could be stolen by someone, or she could get lost and not be able to find her way home. No, that fence isn't there to ruin her life. It is there to protect her and keep her safe. Deuteronomy 3.5 talks about some cities that had walls. It says all these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars. Now, why would those cities have high walls, gates, and bars? Was it so that the people in the city couldn't be free, couldn't have any fun, or were they to make their life miserable? No, those walls were there to protect the people inside the city from the things or the people outside of the city who wanted to harm them. Walls, fences, or boundaries are for protection. Why do we as Christians want to escape the walls, fences, or boundaries, if you will, that God has placed for us in his word? God has not called us to live clean, holy, pure lives so that we are miserable and can have no freedom and no fun. Not at all. He has called us to live clean and holy for our protection. If you never take a drink, you'll never become a drunkard. If you never smoke a cigarette, likely you'll never die of lung cancer. If you never date an unbeliever, then you will never marry one. I can give many more examples of boundaries that God has placed in his word that are good for us and for our protection, but I think you get the gist of what I'm trying to say here. Proverbs 122.7 says this, Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. Let me read that again. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. The Bible says in this verse that we will have peace as long as we are staying within the walls, the boundaries. We will have prosperity if we stay within the walls. Staying within those walls actually gives you freedom. What do I mean by that? Well, let's picture a castle and surrounding the castle is a vast expanse of land, maybe a beautiful river, garden area, horse stables, forest, maybe even a large field filled with wildflowers and surrounding all those things are the castle walls. Picture a princess within that castle. She asked her father, the king, if she can leave the castle to go outside for the day and get some fresh air. Her father says yes, with one condition, that she stays within those walls. Within those walls, the princess is free to do whatever she pleases. She can go to the field and pick wildflowers. She could go to the river and enjoy an afternoon of reading, having a picnic. She could explore the gardens and enjoy the beautiful aroma of the wide array of flowers. She could even go on a horseback ride through the forest. She's free to do any and all of those things as long as she stays within the walls. Why? Because those walls are there for her protection. They keep her safe from harm. They keep her safe from those who would want to hurt her or to take advantage of her. Those walls are not there to make her miserable and take away her freedom. In fact, they are there to give her freedom. Think of our country. The laws of our country are in place for a reason. They are to protect you. As long as you live within those laws, you are free to do whatever you please. The people who choose to break those laws are the ones who have no freedom. I am free to go to work, come home, go to the store, ride my bike anywhere I want to go, go to church, even go from state to state without any hindrance of any sort because I am a law-abiding citizen. I obey the laws of my country. Now, 
if I decide, you know, this law abiding thing is not for me and this is a free country after all, so I want to do whatever I want to do. And I decide because I live in a free country, I am going to go to the grocery store, but I'm not going to pay for my food. It's a free country. I can do whatever I want, right? I'm not going to pay for my food. And I decide I don't want to walk far to the store, so I'm going to use that handicapped parking spot, even though I'm not handicapped. And I don't like that man that stepped in front of me, and so I'm going to punch him in the face and kick him in the stomach, and then I'm going to steal his wallet that fell out of his pocket when he fell down. You know what? I'm not going to be a free citizen for very long. If I live like that, the police will be called, and I will soon end up in jail. Why? Because my freedom lies within the laws of my country. I am a free citizen, able to do as I please, as long as I stay within the boundaries of our laws. If a country had no laws, if a castle had no walls, and if my backyard had no fence, someone would get hurt. And that is exactly why God has set boundaries within our Christian life. Because without them, you would be in danger. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Proverbs 25, 28. It's time we as Christians realize that the boundaries that God has placed in his word are for our protection and for our freedom. They are there because God loves us and does not want us to be harmed and he does not want us in bondage to sin. That's why. He has given us those boundaries. I don't keep my puppy Reese in the backyard within the fence because I don't love her and I want her to be bored. I do it because I do love her and I want her to be safe. Likewise, God does not ask us to stay within the boundaries he has set forth in his word because he does not love us and wants to make our life boring. Rather, he sets those boundaries in his word because he does love us and he wants us to enjoy the safety that comes from staying within those boundaries. Don't resent the boundaries. Respect them. True spiritual freedom comes when we stay within the walls.